And we're back. So, shortly after I finished uh, running through the Heaven benchmark, uh, I was wondering, well, gee, maybe there's a new, sort of, uh, more modern benchmarking software out there. And sure enough, the same company has made a new one called Valley Benchmark. Um, I'm assuming it's the new one anyway. This is version 1. Uh, I'm not entirely sure which graphics cards it's meant for. I think it might even still be geared towards DirectX 11. But uh, nonetheless, my score without uh, recording was 3571. Uh, this does not have the tessellation toggle. It seems like it's built in. There is not... I mean, it doesn't seem like there's as much of, uh, of the tessellation. Anyway, there I there is, as we will see here, quite a bit of uh, like the grasses and other objects that need rendering. Um, not as much spectral lighting because of the lack of metal and other shiny things. So just overall, the uh, the environment seems a little bit different anyway. But then again, I'm also not sure what the scoring system is for this one as compared to Heaven. I don't know what that range runs. Uh, we do have some particles going here, though. Kind of nice for a little bit. I guess we do have a little bit of shine off the rocks there. But... Uh, as I said in the other video, I mean, if Skyrim looked like this, it'd be uh, pretty amazing. Uh, and of course, you know, the the next Elder Scrolls has all the opportunity in the world to gear itself towards next-gen computers and graphics cards and, and totally look like this. Which I think would be pretty fun. Getting close to the end of this one. A little bit of particle flying around there. I don't know, it just felt like this one was um, maybe a little less intensive. The, uh, the tessellation on the rocks in heaven really seemed to make things stick out, and I don't know that it's so noticeable here. 32.45. Oh, didn't drop down too much. So, uh, as you see, I ran that on the Extreme HD, so this was uh, as good as it got. But, um, yeah, I liked it. Uh, let's see if we can't walk around. We can walk around. Okay, cool. I wonder how big the world is, if I can actually go over to those. I don't know. There is no jumping, you just sort of bounce over the terrain. Down into the valley. Uh, this is actually, whoa, space, space jumping. Um, this is actually an engine, I guess, that is made for games. Uh, games can be built on this engine, so maybe we'll see that sometime. Um, Maybe I'll head off that way. I don't know. This is the end of the video, though. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.